Wow. Okay. Lawlers, today we're going to be trying out one of the OP builds from Skillcap's 14.2 OP builds video. This one's going to be for Annie where we're rushing Malignants and then we're going to go into a Leandri's Torment and then a Rylai. So it's trying to make Annie a little bit beefier with some of the health in those items as opposed to just pure one shot. Let's see if it's OP or not. This video is going to be a quick little gameplay hopefully so that you don't have to try it out on your own and you can watch this as a substitute and see if it's something that you want to try out on your end um so lane phase we're up against the yasuo pretty tough matchup for annie in terms of being able to block our q um and the stun from it and go in but i think if we just play kind of passively and let him push in like most yasuos do we're just going to try and last hit as much as we can with our q at range so um kind of just a fundamental for this lane is staying away from minions so that he can't dash through and hit us at the same time and then dodging as many q's as we can if a jungle gank comes though i don't think that his Wind wall blocks our ultimate, so we're going to lead with our ultimate stun, and hopefully he doesn't dash through it with uh, with his E and dodge it. But that's really the, the danger in this matchup, is that Yasu is actually really, really slippery, so it's easy for him to kind of dodge your ultimate and your stun with his wind wall. Now this build better be quite OP because Annie, in my opinion as a champion in Season 14, is not super OP. Um, just the lack of dashes that she has compared to every other mid laner, and then also without any tankiness and no dashes, it's very easy for this type of a champion, like a, a mid-range mage burst champion, to also get bursted out herself. So that's what this build, I guess, is trying to solve. We're going to move up here. We don't even have an E. Yeah, and here he is. We'll just stun him with our W there. His shield also makes it really annoying to trade into him. Oh, he took a little... Oh my gosh, the wind wall from behind. He took a little bit of damage there from the turret, so... That means he doesn't have the wind wall up right now. So we could look for a little auto to break his passive. And then um, maybe a Q stun. And this could be a good little trade here if he doesn't respect us here. Looks like he is going to. Okay, for some reason the move speed I got off my E isn't even enough to catch this guy. Yeah, and his wind wall's back up now. Very unfortunate, very tilted. You can see this is why, if you ever watch some of my videos, I don't usually play Annie. Very tilty champion to play. I feel like I'm moving in quicksand right now too, it's so slow. So uh, skill caps got the work cut out for them here in terms of this OP build. Farm wise, we're doing okay, we're beating him farm wise, so it's just about staying patient in this lane phase. Level 6, I, I feel like we have a window to kill him here, especially if we break his passive. I just don't want to shove this wave, so we're going to let him try and throw a tornado out here. He's going to look for... yeah, of course it hits me. Oh, it didn't last hit, man. That's still too... At least he's pushing, making it easy on us. I'll pop one potion here just so that if he does somehow get a, a tornado, he can't all in us. Nice, managed to break the passive there. Now if this Yasu was really good, since he knows I probably can't kill him before 6, he would be wind walling every time I go for a cannon last hit with my Q, so he could be denying me quite a lot of gold if he was doing that. But I'm missing plenty of last hits. Anyway, under tower you're just trying to time your Q up with all these minions to grab these last hits. And then now we're going to look to break his passive again with an auto if we can. Yeah, there we go, okay. Baited that out of him, but again, we got to break his passive with an auto before we do too much here. So let's just see what kind of damage here our Q does to him if he misses this NATO. Yeah. Okay, so at least he's respecting us here. Yeah, and he can move faster than me for whatever reason. Okay, that W missed him, eh? Interesting. Pop another potion because he's about to hit 6 just like us. There he goes, level 6 before us somehow still, even though he roamed, I thought, a little bit more than us, but... 
Riot's just being Riot. Okay, we've got level 6. Let's see what happens here. I don't think we can all in him again just because of his passive, so... That's the other part of Annie, I guess. If you're kind of someone who likes to play um, a micro-oriented champ who's got a little bit of ability to have some fun early in the lane phase, and kind of dash around and, and look for some plays, definitely uh, not Annie's playstyle. She's a little bit more one-dimensional, just using your cues to last hit, clear things out, and then work towards level 6, where you have your first big spike with Tibbers. Uh, we're going to back now. We had a nice little tempo back there. Still beating this Yasuo in CS, so we're going to be ahead of him, hopefully, in terms of items when we come back. And again, we're rushing Malignant, so we're going to pick up that lost chapter. Um, should we wait? Yeah, we'll wait here a little bit just for a pair of boots. I guess we could pick this up instead, actually. Let's just try and rush the Malignants. See if that gives us some ability to get to an all-in 1v1 power spike. Lots of action going on on the bot side here. Draven's landing some axes. Big kill for him there. Lots of flashes. I don't know what that game W was. Interesting, interesting. Yasuo is also missing, so I wonder if he's going down. They got a nice little wombo with the Wukong jungle and Yasuo mid. Darius also can uh, proc Yasuo's ult, so... It's a very dangerous position. If you ever see minions like this in the middle of the lane with Yasuo, stay away. You were just going to get uh, eat on and ulted, so I'm going to let this crash into us here. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to roam here. We have too much crashing into this tower, but it looks like Yasuo's not moving either. Okay. We can break his passive here, which we just did. He does not have Windwall anymore. Of course, that NATO hits me. He's doing a good job of every time he doesn't have passive respecting my damage and actually like moving away. Alright. He shouldn't have wind wall. He might have passive by the time we come back and see him, but we're gonna try and get in here and do some big damage. Now, I don't know what you're pinging me for. I was running down the whole time. Okay. I think we get the kill. He steals it, unfortunately. I should have got that kill. So it's good that the uh, the ult actually didn't get cancelled with um, the wind wall. Uh, where's our jungler going? We have an advantage, right? Mid laner's dead. I'm here. Tibbers is here. Yeah, he came back, which is good. Um, I was going to say, it's a good thing that the wind wall blocking my Q didn't take off all my stacks. And then the wind wall doesn't stop the Tibbers on R. So, you know what? Actually, could not be a horrible matchup for us. Because Yasuo is pretty squishy. Wow, I actually stole that dragon stuff, even though our jungler missed the um, the smite. So I got the drag there with Tibbies, and uh, we're gonna try and recall now. Hopefully, we get back before this cannon crashes. Okay, fiendish codex is achieved here. We're just gonna wait for a little bit more mana. Should be good and try and run back to lane here. Hopefully we don't miss too much. Yas can push lanes in really, really quick, so. Alright, so kind of coming up to the 10 minute check mark here. Um, farming, tough. And I think most lanes, I know we're gonna see Yasuo now, but most lanes will be tough to I think farm like consistently close to like eight or seven CS per minute with Annie, just by virtue of if they freeze the wave well, it's tough for you to run out and get farmed. Like, you're very vulnerable without your level 6, so... Break his passive here. And then just look for a quick little Q. Dealt almost no damage to him, even though I have a lot of items. That's a little bit weird. If I play Yasuo and I eat a Q like that, I feel like I take tons of damage. Okay, big time kill. Our jungler finally came to try and gank the Yasuo, who's been pushed up all game. Um, so I'm just going to try and push this out as fast as possible with my W's and Q's here. And then look for maybe some type of play in the bot side jungle here. And while your wave clear is consistent with Annie, it's not fast by any means. Uh, I think it's better just to get him played here. I don't think these guys are going to fight. I have flash, so I could probably kill that Senna with a flash combo. Better be careful now, because this guy could dash through and deal a lot of damage. So we're going to try and play towards a higher 
um, percentage here, which is letting him push in, break his passive, and then look for the all-in. Um, we will have our ignite up probably in time for that to happen too. So let me see if I can freeze, freeze the wave kind of right in this area. And then look for an all-in. It's going to cost me a little bit of health to do that, but I think it's worth it. Really don't want to shoot this tornado. Try and break his passive with an auto. Nice. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, he's playing pretty safe. He's not really giving me an opportunity to look for an all-in on him. Which is a good idea by him. I feel like Wukong could come out of this bush here with invisibility and cover that gap. Okay. Let's see if we can run top and make something happen here. A lot of a lot of stuff's going on here, so let's see if we can run up here with something. I feel like we'll be able to do something here. Feel that. Okay, we got a double? We got a double? There we go, we got a double. Tibbers was pretty slow on that, but we got it. Now, I don't know how much of that is our item, because technically we haven't even finished Malignant, so I would just say that's, um, that right there was like a good Annie play of, of roaming to the top when we thought there was going to be a fight that lasted long enough, long enough for us to get there. But you can see we do lose a lot mid. Wukong did a good job here of, of running mid and getting something in return. So we'll try and run down as fast as we can. I still have Flash. Tibber has got a little bit of life left in him, but not enough to get there. So we'll push this out and then we'll go buy our full item. Oh, he's actually fighting this. Okay, we're gonna come. There we go. He left now. Nice little fast push out here and then recall. Farm-wise, somehow we're almost at the top of this game in terms of farm. I don't think you can stop our back here. That's our Malignants. We're going to get a pair of uh, Sork Boots here just to kind of get a little bit of move speed to help run around. And then we're going to rush into our Leandri's Torment. It's going to give us a little bit more um, health. It's called Anti-Tank here because it burns for health damage. Um, we'll see how that fares. He is roaming bot. I don't know where he's going. Let's see if we can shove this out. He's probably trying to see if he can help get that scuttle. I gotta shove this in though, unfortunately. Alright, now we can go. I got Tibbers, we've got Flash. We're gonna try and get down here, make some big plays happen. Now usually you'd wanna hang out in a bush where nobody can see you when you're about to try this all in, but. Let's see if these guys know I'm here. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I completely misclicked that. I messed that up so bad, actually. I meant to press E, and I think I flubbed it and pressed the R on my keyboard. Alright, unfortunate. Tipper has still got a kill somehow. He's still beating down on these guys. Kane's diving. Oh, ate that? That alt hit us? Unbelievable. I have no health to be able to go. Oh my gosh, don't die to that turret. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Just back. Horrible play by me there. We're gonna have to check these uh these keys because I pressed R when I was trying to press E, I think. I don't know what happened. Alright, we're building into Leandries here, got some blasting wand. Dragon's up. They're probably doing it right now. Uh, we're going to try and run there as fast as we can, but it might be, be gone by the time we get there. Might just have to run mid here to, to stop him from getting mid. I don't think I can, though. Back up. Back up, yes. Yeah, so. There he goes. Now we got it. We'll have all probably by the time we get there for this fight, so... That's gotta kill him, right? That's gotta kill him. Help me, gentlemen! Got him! 
Got him! Again, I don't know how much of that is malignance, but uh, you know what? It worked out that time. Malignance does not have any health. It's just more of to do with the alt interaction on the item's passive. So I would not chalk us up to living there based on the, um, the item itself. Get him, Tibbers. Get him, Tibbers. Do your duty, Tibbers. Oh! Dodge that one. I mean, we could kill this guy, I feel like. There you go. Nice. Yeah, Draven just, uh... <laughs> he is stacked up with damage right now. Wow. I might die to this Wakong, though. Unfortunate. Okay, Ben might go down now, but there's already a turret gone, so... Should be fine. Ooh, actually. Yasuo yeah, is not here. Let's shove this really quick. How did that minion die? And I didn't get the CS from it. What? Okay. Do a quick recall here. Never mind. This guy needs our help here. Yeah, yeah, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. So there's no way he actually runs into this fog, right? If he's got a ward here, I think I'd die. Should we try it? Should we try Tibbers and see if Tibbers can hold this base with us here? Let's see. Oh, he backs off. Interesting. Get him, Tibbies! Gotcha. He got mid, but we got him. We're fine. <laughs> this is not right. I feel like this is not right. I know we're popping off, but again, remember, this isn't the OP build yet. This is just um, Annie doing Annie things. So, we happen to get a couple early kills, and our damage now is pretty good with Tibbers. So, let's actually see what happens once we get to the, the OP build part of this. Still don't have enough gold. I will say this, it feels like a very expensive build. I know that our CS isn't great, but we have 5 kills, and we're coming up on 20 minutes, and I cannot buy this uh, core three set here the two items with the boots so it feels like an expensive build so far see if we can get up here and help out this uh <coughs> mordekaiser because i feel like it's going to be a 2v1 here Clippers will not be up for a while got the stun off on this guy I have to just wait until my ult's up. Hopefully they come back here. No, my ult's up now. Wait a second, dude. Don't be a I think I can kill him here. Ah, look at that minion block! What? Yeah, he should die, though. I don't think his W's gonna be up again. Yes, that minion block was... Annie's character is so small. How did I get minion blocked? <laughs> what? <laughs> Interested. Alright, let's just shove this in really quick with Tibbers and our Q. And I think even if Darius comes, we should be able to, to deal with him. Use our E to get a little bit of a move speed boost here. Stun him. Come on, Tibbers, do your stuff, do your stuff. When Tibbers is up, you can shove waves, I guess. His range seems super long right now, too. Alright, we're gonna get out of here, because I'm assuming Wukong is gonna come straight back for his top side after we killed him and got his shutdown gold. Okay, so now we're gonna still back here. We're gonna get our core before 20 minutes. But keep in mind, we did get a couple shutdowns. I think we got a couple shutdowns. And we have six kills with zero deaths. And we got our core, and where is our... Okay, here we go. We get a tanky item. So not too bad, actually. Like, not horrible. We're definitely in a position where this build now, um, coming into 20 minute mark, should be super OP according to skill cap. So let's see if it is or not. Part of this video is just a test to see if they're just releasing videos for the sake of it, like how OP these builds are. Um, I don't know what the win percentage is on this, but... I think, up until this point, I might have rathered a different first rush item as opposed to the one that they suggested. Oh, 
he took him. Okay. Well, we got an assist on both of those. Unfortunate. Hopefully our um, our ability cooldown is low enough. The ability haste that Tibbers is on a short enough cooldown. I don't know what this guy's doing. Why is Tibbers not attacking this guy? I don't know what Yas was doing. Maybe he disconnected or lag spiked there, but that was really strange. Nobody's up. I feel like that can kill us, so we're just gonna hit this tower with Tibbers for a bit. We're actually gonna get it, wow. Just gonna get out here. I don't wanna stay around for that wave and die and give away a big shutdown. Uh, are we close to buying this full Ryla? 1700. Alright, I guess we'll try and stay and pick up this wave if Fiddle doesn't steal it from us. She's definitely tried to do that jerk. Uh, there's a risk that we die here if Yasuo comes out the shadows so I just have to be careful I just want to try and clear this wave out though Tibbers is up again already which is nice there's the ass there might just have to get uh, a couple of these raptors here so we get enough gold there we, go. we should have enough after this to buy our item Oh my gosh, this guy. I have Tibbers, so if he gets too crazy here, we can definitely try something. Alright. He's not doing this, is he? I need to get out of here! Tibbers! Oh no! There's no way! Oh my gosh! I think I just gave him a shutdown. Oh no! Tibbers, finish him off! <laughs> no, no, no. Ah, uh, Yasuo, how did you get there that quick? Very unfortunate. Also, super unlucky that this guy lived through that. I guess the Negatron cloak helped him out, but unfortunate. Okay, we're at our our max OP build as uh, recommended by Skill Tap. So let's see what happens here. We're in a great position to just one shot people. I feel like the fact that we didn't one shot that Wukong was a little bit interesting, but anyway. Uh, my verdict so far, checking in, as you can probably tell by what I've been saying, I don't feel this is OP. Um, there's definitely champions and builds that I've played in the past that are way more OP than this. Um, in terms of just being able to mindlessly pilot them and get damage off. I feel like I've still had to focus on my space spacing and move macro-wise to have an impact on this game. Versus playing other kind of OP champs and builds where just no matter what happens, you're still going to be stronger than other people. Like Wukong is stronger than me right now. I don't think he's playing an OP build according to skill cap. Ah, Wukong, great job there. Alright, so let's see what happens here, right? Like... Stunned him, landed my ult. Is it gonna kill him? No. Got close, but no. So is it OP? I don't know. Is it strong? I don't know. Could just be Annie. Any items you build on Annie right now could be doing this kind of stuff. So we just landed her. What's that guy was doing? Yeah, okay, I have my stun up now. I still want to wait for one of these guys to engage here first. Let's see what happens here. There's a drag fight about to happen here. I don't want to be the first one in. <laughs> Draven is massive. Whatever Draven's build is, I think that might be the OP one there. Uh, crit collector Draven seems to be pretty strong right now. Oh no, they killed him. Okay, yeah, I know they're there, but the higher percentage here is just to wait for our ult for another 10 seconds. And hopefully they walk without a ward here. They have that vision cone though, so they're probably going to see us. Let's see if we can blast this out first. There is no vision in here though, if Fiddlesticks is uh, passive is here, so let's just wait. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's see, does he live through this? Oh, 
Get him! Get him, Timbers! Timbers, where'd you go? Come back, Timbers! Oh, they're chasing me, they're chasing me. I mean, okay, so he's dealing damage, right? I wouldn't say he's OP. It's a good thing um, Mordekaiser took him there, because I'm pretty sure we would have got dunked on. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, like, that was a perfect scenario for us to land that on him. Yasuo and, and this guy, they're not tanky. Like, I know he's got some magic resist items, but he's not tanky, right? Like, and our items have magic pen, so it's interesting that it's still not doing enough damage to kill him. And if you're not able to one-shot people with um, Andy's combo, like, realistically, what's the point in playing her? I, I don't know. And, like, we're fed this game. We're 7-1. I don't know. I don't know. I'd say not OP. My verdict probably so far, definitely not OP. Definitely not OP. Um, I guess the like floor is open for us to build whatever we want now. Zonya's Hourglass would be really good into their team comp in terms of them diving. Um, but let's just go Storm Surge for a little bit more damage here. Maybe I'll try another video where I actually just rush Storm Surge and like Luden's Revolver or whatever it's called now. I would assume that would feel more powerful than this build that I'm running right now. My issue with building the health is if you if you get caught out of position and you're worried about getting exploded, and that's why you're building health items, you're still going to die as Annie. Like, it's not like you're going to survive whatever burst is coming your way because of, a, a, you know, 700 extra health. So I just feel like the trade-off of surviving for a couple more autos isn't worth losing out on all that extra damage. All right, let's see if we can get to this, um, this pixel brush here. If it's not warded, this guy's going to die, right? Yeah, okay, okay, let's see what happens when they come here. I'm gonna probably have to flash to get out of this, but let's just see. Right, here we go. Okay, super OP, right? Yeah, super OP. Killed no one. All that extra tankiness that I have. Man, I still got deleted. <laughs> that was a heat check there. Like, I knew that was gonna be a really tough. To this. Yeah, right? This is OP, what you're seeing right now. <laughs> Whatever Draven's built, that's OP. That guy, he just melted the entire team. We got a lot of assists. We got 15 assists, but... Yeah. So I'm glad uh, I might do this series more because... It's nice, uh, it's nice to check to see if these builds are actually OP. Like, sometimes before you just log into a game and go through the whole effort of, like, trying them. Especially if, like, you don't get to it one game. You're gonna spend, like, three, four, five games going for it. This is a nice little check to see, hey... You know, this guy got to all the items. And you can... Decide for yourself, like maybe you think it is OP based on what you're seeing, so maybe you do want to play it. I think we're gonna get this Baron though and end this game pretty fast after that. I'm gonna run towards Draven because I don't think they need my help with the Baron, and I want to make sure I can peel for Draven in case these guys jump on him, which it looks like they're, they're gonna try and do right now. I'm gonna signal to him that I'm coming and I have ult in four seconds. At least you have enough damage to one shot a Yasuo. I don't think he uses wind wall very good there, though. So our Q with all those AP items did not even do 30% of Senna's health. Clippers is on about a 40 second cooldown here still. You gotta be careful because I'm definitely not tanky enough to even take a couple of cues from Ezreal here. I'm just kind of standing here as a stun bot. What? That hit me through Draven? I need to be very careful with my space in here. Okay, and you can see here, I just died to an Ezreal. How many items does Ezreal have? He's not hes not as fed as me. One, two, three, and a pair of boots. I've got one, two, three, and a pair of boots. It should have been much closer than that, I feel like. He is an auto attack champion, mind you. So, like, of course he should win just based on autos. But I feel like my Q with this build deals no damage. It's all about, like, 
the burn damage and like staying alive over time, I guess. But even with the extra health, you don't stay alive over time with that. So I'm not sure. We've got the storm surge now, so hopefully that boosts up our AP a little bit. We've got Tibbers up, so let's try and run and help out this Mordekaiser here with a big fight. Dragon's coming up too in another 30 seconds. Look at that, hey Baron, and you lose stuff. Okay, let's keep going here. Gotta get to this dragon ASAP. I'm coming, dude. I'm coming. Did I not press Q on this? What? I pressed Q on him right when he was walking by me. Nothing came out. He's got it again, eh? Lovely. W cooldowns out of this world right now. I don't even care if someone's here. Let's go. Alright, where is he going to W onto me? Just die. I don't even need to use my R on you, dude. Let's go. See if this shortcut works here. We're all stacked up here. We're gonna go in for a big, big play. See if we can get into this bush without them seeing us. He wasn't there. Unfortunate. Can my Q hit anybody? Okay, we got a double kill. I'm pretty sure Draven saved us there because we would have got just exploded by that Darius again if he didn't put him down. I don't know, man. I don't know. How much of that was Storm Surge versus the rest of our build, even? Tibbers is also super clunky, man. Like, this guy doesn't attack the targets I want. I thought he auto-focuses whoever your Q lands on. Alright, I can't. I can't do anything here. Yeah, so... Yeah, so it can just kill me. I'm just gonna let Kane finish this off here. I'm gonna back him by. This game should be done though. Hopefully on the next push. As long as these guys don't die. Oh no, he got caught. Wow, great flash. Let's just watch this. Oh my gosh, she's gonna end the game. The health regen is too much. GG. Well guys, hopefully you enjoyed that uh, test out of Skill Cap's OP build for Annie in patch 14.2. Let me know if you agree, if it's OP or not in the comments below.